Hey there, welcome back to Magic Stringworks. So, today I'm going to continue on with this octave mandolin transformation. So, this old garbage find <laughs> Oscar Schmidt parlor guitar, which is actually quite a nice little guitar. I'm going to try and turn it into an octave mandolin. So, we did the headstock last time, put the tuners in. Now, I want to take out the nut, take out the saddle. Oh, well. I was just playing around with the saddle and it came out and broke anyways. I have to plug a few of these holes here in the bridge. Got some of the tools we need, calipers, got a drill bit. This is a plug cutting bit. A nice scrap piece of walnut here. And I picked up at Next Gen Guitars here in Ottawa. A nice bone blank here for the saddle. A bone nut as well blank some pins, bridge pins, so anyways we're gonna get to it, get this skin going. Alright so like I mentioned the saddle already popped out, broken in two pieces so get rid of that. So I need to fill these holes in the bridge and I'm gonna keep the two outer holes so the the first and sixth strings here on the guitar as reference points and this is where I'm going to have the first and fourth string on the mandolin and I'm going to fill these in and then we'll drill some new holes. Now I've got this piece of scrap walnut which I think will match pretty nice. I think this is rosewood. I don't have any of that around and there's lots of cool grain on this scrap piece. But these are for plugs, so I just want something relatively straight and easy. So I think I'll take some plugs out of here. Now I was just measuring the hole with the caliper, and I think a quarter inch will widen the hole a little bit and give me what I want there. So I've got a quarter inch drill bit. I'm going to drill that out slowly again, just these four. We're going to fill it with some plugs, so let's get drilling. Okay, quarter inch drill bit. So I'm going to go in reverse first, and again, keep this perpendicular. To see if that's doing anything. Okay, that's good. Now we'll go down. That's nice and clean. like purple. I'll clean out anything in the guitar as well. Okay. Made a little bit of a mess. Nothing we can't take care of. Yeah, those are nice and clean now. Okay, so let me cut out some plugs from this piece of scrap. Alright, we're here at the drill press. So I'm going to cut out uh, five or six holes just to be safe. But we can have a few extras in case it doesn't work. Now, sometimes the plugs will pop out as you're working on them. Sometimes they won't. Let me try that. I don't want to lose them. Good. Let me take these little plugs over to the guitar. See how they fit. Got one extra there. So I'm pretty sure these are going to fit nicely. Maybe with a little tapping. Can I get my hand in this thing? Ah, not really. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just going to tap that in lightly. Little rubber mallet. I'm not gonna do that now because 
<laughs> not gonna be able to get it out. So a little bit of wood glue. Not gonna put too much. Put some on the dowel. And these dowels, or these, well, they're dowels now, I guess, with plugs. They're not gonna go, they're just gonna be shy of the backing plate in there. So that's good. I shouldn't have too much spill out or anything. So I'm going to try and make sure the grain is going this way. There we go. Best I can. Tap this in. I'll push back a bit. That's a pretty tight fit. Okay, well, I've got a damp Q-tip here. It's gonna go around. Clean up as I go. And we can cut those flush after. Okay, well, those are in. And I'll cut those flush when they dry. While we're down here, I might as well size the saddle blank. Okay, so I got this unbleached bone saddle blank from Next Gen Guitars here in Ottawa. So that's going to be nice. I like the color. <clears throat> so I'm just going to take my calipers here and measure the slot. Two point nine inches, two and twenty nine thirty seconds, or seventy three point six six millimeters, approximately. <laughs> seventy three seventy nine. So I'll lock that down. And I'll mark the blank, and then cut it, and then you know, sneak up on the size. I'm going to have to make this a little narrower too, so it's a little wider than the slot. Yeah, not too much. A little bit of sanding. Okay, well I've got my digital calipers locked in position. So again, this will be a rough mark. And then we'll fine tune it. Just to show you, you don't need any you know, you don't need anything too fancy here. I've got two pieces of MDF. These were actually the calls I used to glue down the veneer on the headstock. So I'm going to just hang that off the edge of this one. And I'm just going to hold it tight. Now using, this is a uh, fine tooth saw, 24 teeth per inch. So I'm just going to bring that line just inside the edge here. I'm just going to run the saw up against the edge of the MDF. You can see that's maybe just a little too much. There we go. And I'm just going to use that as a guide. So two pieces of scrap MDF. Will work just as fine as a specialty jig. About halfway through. <laughs> Bone really smells funny. Oh my god. You know right away that it's bone when you're you're sawing through it. It's not hard to saw through. It's just uh, it does have a very particular smell. Okay, that piece over here. There we go. You need to sand the end a little bit, and we'll see how much more we have to take off. I don't expect this to fit perfectly. It's close, but of course the ends are rounded here too. Eh? That's pretty good. I think what I'll do is start rounding these ends over. Get it in that slot. Okay, well I'm really close to the width here. I like that. 
So now it's just the thickness I need to take off. So again, di digital calipers are your best friend. <laughs> Zero them out. A slot 2.94 millimeters, three millimeters, 3.12, so it varies a little bit, it would seem, which is not unusual. Three millimeters. So what have we got here? 3.24 millimeters. So let's check that in a couple spots. Yeah. So I need to take off probably about a quarter millimeter, right? Okay, let me go sand this a little bit. So you can see I just took a small block of scrap wood here and I double stick tape, <laughs> use double stick tape to put the nut onto the block and then I was able to put that on the sander. Now we're looking for about three millimeters, 3.1, yeah, around that 3.1, 3.07. So again, it's one of those things that you sneak up on, so I'll take that off, and if I need a new piece of tape, I'll put one on. And we'll see as we get close here. Ooh, that is close. Almost, almost. Okay. So just a just a light sanding now. We should be able to get that in. Okay, let's see. Ooh, look at that. Nice. Can I lift the guitar? Not quite. <laughs> but that's good. Okay, well that's that's really good. I'm happy with that. So really what I want to do there with this is just fit that. I'm not gonna round anything over yet or whatever, but good. Okay, let's move up to the Nut. Okay, I think we need to get this out. It's definitely plastic. Um, now I glued on the new face veneer, so I'm just going to use a X-Acto knife, razor knife, razor blade, whatever you got. Score along there. I'll do some on the front for good measure. Three or four strokes, and then down the side, I can actually see something there. I don't know if it's glue. But I'll go down the side as well to break it from the binding. Sorry if my hand's in the way. Okay, so normally a little tap, and I'm just using this piece of wood happens to be a Jenga block. <laughs> I use it for a lot of things. So just a little tap now just to sort of loosen it. There we go. I don't want to knock it out and maybe break this veneer I put on. I'm just going to use these channel pliers here so I can get it out. Good. Okay. Tiny bit of wood there on the bottom. Very little. Pretty clean. So I do have a new bone nut blank here. This one's angled a little bit at the back. So that's going to be the back edge. And of course, everything's too wide. <laughs> so first thing, I've got to make this thinner so it fits in the slot nicely. So we're going to do that the sander, same idea. So we'll sneak up on it. Okay, I'm just going to fine tune a little bit here on the sandpaper. This is uh, 220. Boy, this stuff smells funny. 
Go get yourself a bone nut and sand it. Then you'll know what I'm talking about. There we go. Right in there. Oh yeah, I like it. Good. Okay, well let me trim those ears off. Okay, I'm just going to place one side. Whoop, moved a bit. Again, if it's a little bit big, that's okay. Because then we can sand it. I think that'll be good right where it is. Let's make a mark. Of course, I'll cut just out, you know, if I cut on that line, it's just going to be a little proud. So I just trimmed that. So look inside, you can see a different color. That's how you know it's a bone nut as well. Not only the smell. <laughs> oh yeah, nice. Okay. So what I'll do is transfer, like I said, I want to put the string spacing of the first and sixth string on the old guitar, which will now be the first and the fourth. Just mark those and then I can figure out the other two. So the new nut is in position. Again, using your fingers is a great way. So I'm just going to make a mark. For the sixth string and Wow, this nut's broken a little bit here. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Right about there. What I'll do is I'll just even out the spacing. It looks pretty close, but... And I'm just going to take that razor saw again. Just put it on that mark. Just score it lightly. Oh. There we go. That way I'll have the mark there in case the pencil disappears. But I will measure it side to side here. So right now Two point one two, a little wider. How about there? Two point three millimeters. <laughs> it's right on. Okay, well, we're good. You know, just make a little score line. Of course, these won't be my final slots. But just the starting points. Okay. Okay, so these plugs have been drying. I'm going to remove the saddle. It's going to use this flush cutting saw. This one's a Veritas one from Lee Valley. And just go along here until the plugs come out. Honestly, I think I've had this flush cutting saw 20 years. Probably should get a new one, but it still does a really nice job. Yeah, look at that. All right, three more to go. Okay, well I've cut those as flush as I'm going to go right now, and I'm just going to sand them, and I'll fill a little bit. Let's see, put that saddle back in, does it still fit? <laughs> well, it probably goes better one way, right? There we go, yeah. So, having said that, I'm just going to make a little pencil line the front here. And I can do it in uh, Sharpie as well. This can be the front edge. So that way when I'm fine-tuning it, I remember 
what goes where, right? The pencil might come off, but I think the Sharpie will stay longer. Put that back in. There we go. Okay, well I think that'll be it for this video. So we'll plug these four holes. I'll trim them down, sand them. We fitted the saddle, the new bone saddle, in the slot. And we've cut a new nut blank to fit and mark the slots for the first and the fourth strings here. Of course there's eight on the mandolin. Next video we'll fine tune these and we'll get some strings on here I think. I have to drill some holes so I have to locate these bridge pin holes. Still might do a tailpiece not 100% sure. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right. Let me know what you think about this uh, transformation. Would you do it? All right. See you in the next one. Bye for now.